When we talk of Africa education, to the Western world, the first thing that comes to their mind is young African children in the classroom being taught about hunting lions, traditional medicine, witchcraft, and other stereotypical nonsense. To an African's child perspective, he or she will think of almost 20 years of going to school, getting really good grades so he can get employed to have a good life. But currently in 2020, to most Africans in the continent, this education system has resulted in a population with similar skills that can really be implemented in the current global era. And to most people in the continent, this system has failed them and seems to be broken. But how broken is the education system in Africa? depends largely on education. Pre-colonial education in Africa was mainly in the form of apprenticeship where children will mostly learn from older members of the community. And by the colonial period, the colonialists came ready to change the existing tradition to meet their own needs and ambitions. It marked the end of traditional African education. They introduced vocational trainings but neglected professions such as engineering and technology. They did not view investing in African education as a practical use of their revenue and they limited it to avoid any uprising, questioning or critical thinking. But here is why I'm telling you all of this. The characteristics of this form of education is what was put in after most African countries got their independence. The notion of receiving an education that prepares you for employment only emphasizes compliance and conformity over creativity. And that's what the current African education system is formed from. But we can really see that the whole education system of Africa is fully broken because most of the current youth of Africa, we are the results of that system. And it's not all who are unemployed, poor, or unable to solve the current problems in Africa. Most African youth say that this system of education has failed them because it was never ready for the rapid change in technology. What was taught throughout primary, secondary, and all the way to university never factored out that those information would once be absolute. Even though some countries in Africa are developing fast, the education system ain't really changing to fit the changing world and the job market change. Most countries in Africa have been trying their best to ensure that every single child is able to have access to a good education. And with the help of different organizations from outside Africa, this access becomes so easy. But providing free and easy education isn't really the solution. Most of the governments have been providing the same curriculums which were given to students back in the 1990s to the current students starting out in 2020. National curriculums enforced by high-stake testing can at best teach students just to memorize what is taught. This form of education creates a bubble where students live with the hope that having good grades in school is the key to success. Through the vocational training colleges, most Africans have discovered so many skills that they never knew they had. It has brought a huge impact in communities in Africa through self-employment. But with the rapid change of technology, it's hard for these students to handle the new information because of clinging to absolute and primitive methods. But we can't keep on talking about how broken the education system is without talking on how to move forward. From the beginning of the 21st century, technology has taken a huge part of our daily lives. Even though not all parts of Africa are accessible by roads, they still have access to mobile services. We should incorporate technology of all sorts, even mobile SMS, in providing education to our students. And through the COVID-19 pandemic, it has shown how technology can be used in doing this. As the years go, the more complex the world becomes, and the more creative we need to be to meet its challenges. In the 21st century, success looks very different than it did in the past. And this is becoming more clear in education and in workplace. People now need to be creative in everything to be successful. In the current global era, education is all about giving students the skills they need to succeed in this new world. Help them grow their confidence to practice these skills not only around their community but internationally. The skills in the 21st century are more focused on making sense of that information, sharing, using it in a smart way, and it needs to be transferable skills that will hold up to the rapid changing world and not content that has been chosen for its past relevance. Skills like problem solving, creativity, communication, and collaboration are extremely crucial for this day and age. These skills should be the things that are to be overlaid across all curriculums and strategy planning in Africa. This episode is a result of conversation between young Africans from different countries in Africa and also the continent of Africa. We hope you learned something new. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode and see you next week.